and welcome to my channel. My name is Primrose. If you haven't been here before, then hi, it's lovely to meet you. And if you have been here before, then welcome back. It's so good to see you again. What I wanted to do today was to kick off my How to Wicker series, my Witches in Training series, and start talking about the Wiccan Sabbaths that are going to be coming up this year. I thought it was a perfect opportunity, start of the year, let's talk through the Sabbaths before they come up, and yeah, get you guys into to the into the practice of getting used to when they're here and just learning a little bit about what they're all about really and why we celebrate them. So if you are interested in learning more and would like to see more of my videos, do give me a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world to me. And let's just jump straight in. Okay, so the first Sabbath of the year, the Sabbath that is coming up is in bulk and it can also be known as St. Bridget's Day and this comes from the Celtic goddess Bridget and what in bulk really represents is the beginning of spring so it begins on the 1st of February and this is about halfway between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. Often you'll be able to tell that we're coming close to in bulk because you'll start to see especially in the UK and about internationally snowdrops come up and snowdrops are one of my favorite favorite flowers. I always know that spring is literally coming when I start seeing snowdrops sprout out the ground and they just look so pretty. It's like a final goodbye to winter. I just think it's so nice. You may also notice that the days will start to get a lot lighter so we'll see a lot less of these really really early dark nights which I am so thankful for because I just cannot and yeah it's so good you feel like you can do so much more in the day the days are getting longer lighter and it's basically just saying goodbye to winter and preparing for springtime so within Wicca each Sabbath has a story of the god and the goddess that goes along with it it's almost like a phase in their, their life a phase in that period of time together and that is representational of the wheel of the year and the seasons that go by so in bulk is very much about new beginnings you can see that when you just look at plants starting to grow back, trees starting to get their leaves. It's all about new beginnings, very much renewal, very much coming back. It's a great time to start over. But specifically in terms of the god and the goddess, this is when the goddess is at her, not her youngest, but as part of her youth. If you've been looking into Wicca, then you'll probably already know the goddess has three different life stages. She has the maid, the mother and the crone and in this stage she is very much the maid very much all new to her very much new beginnings she's not yet coming quite into womanhood but it is the preparation for that and then in terms of the god and his part to play in the story he is also in his youth stage he is courting the goddess and they are in the very early stages of their partnership it's as it is with any human relationships it is a time of excitement to try new things to experiment to get really excited and prepare for these things that are going to come in the future it is a time that represents fertility and new growth so how can you celebrate in bulk. Firstly, it's a great time for spring cleaning. Obviously, a lot of people naturally find it a great time to have a good sort out, a good clear out, clear your space, clear your environment, and invite in new energy. It's a really good time for focusing in on anything that you might have not found a, a passion for or an interest for over the winter months because they're darker, they are more stagnant, but now things are lighter, things are brighter, and you have all this new energy to put directly into tasks that you want to focus and draw your energy into. It is a really great time for getting out in the garden and planting seeds, connecting with nature and just preparing a garden space for the months that are to come. It's a really great time to do all of that preparation and get really prepared for everything coming. So it's a really good time for sorting, clearing, beginning anew. Particularly it's a really great time for cleaning out things such as your kitchen, your pantry or your fridge. You know, clearing out all of the old stuff that you no longer need and welcoming in new bountiful things and maybe you want to bring in some new habits as well so it's maybe a really good time to set yourself some goals and think okay what do I want to achieve for the rest of the year you know don't feel like because we're not at January the 1st it's too late it's definitely not you know make a list make some goals set yourself some tasks or things that you want to achieve even if it's just for the month you know and see how you get on it's also a really good time to let go 
go of things that you might have been holding on to. Maybe you were clinging on to things over winter and you know what, just, just let it go. Just keep all of that into that dark time, that dark space and put it to bed, put it to rest because now it's time for you to grow up through the ground, you know, everything that you want to be as a person, everything that you want to bring into being, let that all come out and leave anything that you do not like or anything that you do not want to bring into this year, leave that back in the winter months and say goodbye to it, put it to rest. It's also a great time to get creative, draw on this new energy that's coming in, draw it on, draw into these lighter nights and utilize them, maybe pick up a new hobby, you know, maybe do poetry or art, something to express yourself and get that wonderful new growing budding energy out it's a, just a really great time to you know get a feel for new things and be excited about new things you know maybe you want to use this time to refresh your altar I know personally I could do the deep clean of my altar and refresh the entire energy it's a great time for smoke cleansing or just whatever method of cleansing you like to do maybe you want to collect some wild flowers or branches leaves or seeds, things you might find outside and bring them into your altar. Bring that new energy and that, that real growth energy into your space and it's just such a fantastic time to harness all of that. In Wiccan tradition, some people choose to make a Bridget cross as well. This is what it looks like. I'll pop a little picture in on the screen. I've never had a go at doing one myself. I've never really felt like it's something that I wanted. It kind of reminded me a bit too much of the Christian palms but you know, if that's something that you want to try then by all means go ahead but you can also as an alternative make a Bridget doll which is what I've actually chose to do a couple of years ago so this is my goddess doll so I choose to make her purple I've put symbolism in there of all things that I sort of connected with so I've got an amethyst crystal at the top I've got this soft silk rose that I've used as a headdress. We've got some purple sequins down the body. I did a swirl on here, very representational of feminine energy. We've also got a bird cage, which is representational of, you know, how I feel sometimes in my life, and some more roses. So this is my sort of goddess doll, and inside she is also filled with some lavender and stuffing. So I just kind of made this by hand and just sort of roughly sewn up the edges. It's not perfect but it doesn't need to be you know as long as it represents something and means something to you so I really hope this has helped explain some of the Wiccan tradition and what in bulk is really all about it's quite a nice small little Sabbath that you know it's a really good beginner Sabbath I think because it's nothing too crazy it's nothing massive to celebrate but it's a really good starting point in terms of laying out your year setting out what you want to achieve and clearing out all of that that bad energy it's just a really great starting point so I hope that you've enjoyed my explanation. I hope I might have given you some ideas of things that you can do to celebrate this Sabbath. I think personally what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a good deep clean. I'm going to refresh some of my altar. I'm probably going to journal. I've been really into journaling around the Sabbaths lately and how I, I feel and it's a, a big time of reflection for me. So maybe I'm going to reflect on the things that I want to let go and the energies that I want to bring into the year. If you have any more questions for me then just let me know down below. I'd be more than happy to go through anything that you're not too sure about. Thank you for joining me here today day and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye!